Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows tutorial. This tutorial is going to be either for Windows 7 or Windows 8. So today I'll be showing you an overview on a utility called Adjust Visual Effects. It's a window dialog and it allows you to go ahead and visually enhance the appearance of your windows. So with this tutorial, I'll walk you through on how to do all that's necessary to accomplish your goal in this video. If at any time you get stuck or fall behind, always pause the video so you can go ahead and be caught up. Um, if you like anything on my YouTube video, always be sure to refer back to my channel channel because chances are whatever you like whether it be a wallpaper or theme or etc it's on my YouTube channel with Windows 7 or Windows 8 all you have to do with your keyboard just press the Windows key whether it be the start menu or the start screen and then type in control panel and then press enter now under control panel under the large icons you can see that there's an icon called system click on system you can see right here at the bottom left performance information and tools click that and once you are there you can go and click adjust visual effects once you're in the adjust visual effects let's minimize this right here and bring this over here now just to give you a whole recap on what this performance option dialog window is I'll go ahead and explain now with the first option, let Windows choose what's best for your computer. If you select that, it unchecks the thumbnail previews and also the shadows on the mouse pointer. Those are actually unnecessary. So if I were to press apply, that's already a good start. However, I do like my thumbnail, so I'll actually press apply and leave it. The next option would be adjust for best appearance. That selects everything. Also, if you were to select best performance, it unchecks everything, so it just minimizes all that's possible. So if you're in actually Windows 7, you'll be given an option to go to the classic version of Windows, uh, the theme. But with Windows 8, you're just given a lot less appearance effects with the whole arrow effect. If I wanted to, the animate controls and elements inside Windows, if I were to go to control panel and click here two times, and click on systems there's an option that's that moves it to the right it actually slides to the right it has an animation effect I don't necessarily need that so what I'll do is I should go ahead and uncheck that and then press apply as you should too if that's nothing that you do want the other option I would also uncheck because I don't need to know that a window is minimizing I just know is the option called animate windows when minimizing and maximizing and what that does is if you can see it fades in and out and what I want to do is I want to uncheck that because that'll actually increase my performance even more so I'll press apply uh, also the animations in taskbar whether they be like these right here I can go ahead and uncheck that I don't need anything like that the enable peak the arrow peak what that does is it allows you to go over here to the bottom right and you can see the arrow peak and see what's behind all these windows um, I don't necessarily need that so I'll uncheck that as well the other option is called fade or slide menus into view what that does is if you have it on it actually drop downs menu and they kind of fade in and out I don't need that so I'll actually turn that off the next one is called fade or slide tooltips into view and this is just like the one above except that it works with the tooltips the ones that you usually get at the taskbar at the bottom right the tooltips are the ones that pop up and you know just place over your mouse and you wait for it to disappear they just disappear like automatically in an instance so I'll actually uncheck that so it can disappear in an instance instead of fading away the next option is kind of like the tooltips, but let's say for example, the action center tells me that I need to turn on my anti-malware utility, and if I were to select it, then it fades away. I don't necessarily need it to fade away, so I'll actually disable that as well press apply and the save taskbar thumbnail previews I actually like them if you were to have them unchecked for instance if I were to uncheck them they won't have a preview of that thumbnail for instance a picture they'll just have a preview of that PNG or that JPEG for instance so you won't be able to see what that picture is before you actually open it and I will press I'll actually have that selected because that's what I prefer and I'll press apply um, shadows underneath the mouse pointer if you can see I don't have a shadow right here right now but if I were to press that and press apply you can see now I do have a shadow but I am really gonna uncheck that because it's unnecessarily um, next one is shadows underneath the windows if you can see right here you can see shadows you can't really see them much but if I were to drop it over to the taskbar you might be able to there's no reason for you to have that so it'd be best to go ahead and uncheck that as well 
The next one would be show thumbnails instead of icons. And what that does, it's the same thing as the one that I do have checked above. And I would recommend having that checked as well. This right here, the show translucent selection rectangle. I would have this checked up for Windows 7 because if you have that unchecked, you'll actually go to a classic view of Windows 7. And I wouldn't recommend that. So what you can do, you can keep that checked for the time being. So with Windows 8, you can uncheck it if you want and then press apply. Next one is show Windows contents while dragging. And what that does is if I were to go ahead and select here and drag this, it shows it all the way until I decide to undrag it. And if I were to uncheck it and press apply, you can see it'll remain. However, until I put it where I want it to, then it'll pop up and be visually there right where I put it. So if that's something that you like, you can go and uncheck that. I'll actually have that unchecked because because I don't necessarily need to see where it's going. I just know that the whole outline will be placed and I will know where it's gonna go. So the next one is the slide open combo boxes. What this one is, it's similar to the fade menus except it works with a drop down list box. Another one is something that's a much of a waste so I have it shut down and I'll press apply. So the next one is called smooth edges of screen fonts. What happens is your fonts are actually a lot smoother because if you guys know that fonts are made of a bunch of pixels and if you were to have it off, you see a little bit of a jaggedness to it. It's not as smooth, but if you wanted to, you can see for yourself if you like it or not, whether you like the fonts on the screen a little less jaggedy or more jaggedy, it depends on you. The next one is called smooth scroll list boxes. And what that does is it allows more of a smoother scroll. However, it, I haven't really seen a difference. So if, it, if it's a means of getting more performance, I'll have it off, but keep it on if you wanted to. And the last one is called use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop. If you guys notice that you guys do have icons on your desktop and there is an actual shadow, all you have to do is just uncheck that and the shadow will be gone. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and apply to all these settings that I have suggested for you. You can always experiment with the ones that you want, but the ones that I've unchecked are the ones that give you a better performance experience with your Windows operating system. If you guys like this video, go ahead and thumbs up if you wanted to. And until next time, see you later, guys. All right, bye.